strangling the flow of goods between Auckland and Northland. 35,000 cubic metres of earth wiping out a section of the freight rail network between the two regions. The scale is pretty huge for us. Between Swanson to Whangarei we have about 50 slips and where we're standing in today is the largest one. It started to come down during the Auckland floods. Cyclone Gabrielle only made matters worse. It's exacerbated the initial situation and it still kept the earth moving. Meaning today is the first day Kiwi Rail has been able to start repairs, which are expected to take up to 12 weeks. So right now what we're doing is actually clearing the slip side to unearth our rail track to understand the total damage. So what I could say is this is probably going to be in the millions. Others work to get things back on track. Ashley Yates, News Hub. Can you tell me what's happened here and how much land has come down? So what's happened here on the event that happened, the unprecedented event of rainfall on the 27th of January, the whole slip's just come down and it's where we are standing at the moment, it's moved about 35,000 cubes of earth. So what's the biggest challenge going to be in clearing it? One of the biggest challenges at the moment, we've had the, the event on the 27th, then we had the cyclone come through and then on the 24th of February we also had another 120 mils of rain. So it's actually saturated the ground quite a bit and it's as, you can see as we're walking around it is quite soggy. So for us to stage our repairs, we needed to dry out a bit as well. At the same time, it's actually enabled us to get our geotechnical engineers in here and come up with a proper solution. How critical is the rail line here that has been covered and how, how deep under the mud is it? It's about four to five metres below the mud in certain locations. Um, it is pretty critical because it's probably the only rail line that connects Northland uh, to the rest of the country in terms of freight movement. So for we. For us, we need to get this fixed as soon as we can to make to be enable goods to go in and out of Northland. And can I ask you how much freight goes through here norm, in a normal week? In a normal week, we have about uh, one or two trains a day, um, but that was because we were doing a lot of work on the line. So as the line got repaired, we were going to actually increase the freight volumes. So unfortunately, the first freight train with the high 18 ton axle and the heavier load ran on the 27th of January on the day of the event. And after that, we haven't been able to run any. So once we fix this, we will be looking to grow those volumes.